So, coming up to speed weeks, I'm trying to get the RV ready, and I noticed I have a problem. I actually noticed it when we went to 417, we had the pro truck, and the jacks came down, but they didn't, there was no pressure behind it, so it wouldn't lift it all the way up. <clears throat> so what I found is, you turn your lifts on, this is just, this light here is just saying the RV's sideways, which it is, uh, up, down, they all do the same thing. I can hear all the solenoids click and the solenoid for the store, all the releases. So all this side is working. My box is working. So all that's working, right? So come around to the front of the RV. Now, I did went ahead and disconnected this. I'll show you that in a second. But I checked power from my batteries all the way up to where my bus bar is i have two bus bar two bus bars in this rv and i have two solenoids this solenoid up here is for my master kill for the coach the solenoid down here right here is the solenoid for the motor that connects power to the motor and this clamp goes around the motor so what i was having a problem is i had power going to switching over going to the motor but the motor wasn't kicking on so at that point to eliminate a grounding issue I went underneath here. I took jumper cables from the battery side, the battery negative side, and I put the other negative side to my bottom ground here, and I tried actuating it, nothing. So then I moved my ground onto the actual base plate of the motor, and still nothing. So then went ahead and just removed the pump motor itself. And then remove the pump motor itself and grounded out the motor and applied power to it and still nothing. So dad's in there now trying to clean it up, see what's up with it. Maybe he can save it. If not, we'll try an Amazon motor. All right, so here is the housing where the magnets are. You see there's a bunch of magnet material down in there. So we're going to go ahead and clean that up. There's the motor itself, right? And we did sand this down a little bit. What I did was I put this in the end of my drill here. And I hit the drill as you sand it. So Dad went and sanded it down as I hit the drill to clean that up. But we're going to go ahead and clean this out and all the stuff out and go back. Okay, we're going to take this. Yeah, we changed the nails. The paper clips didn't work, so we just take it, squeeze the nails together, and it should work. There it is. We're going to find the clock mark here. Where that, which is where the hole is for the bolt and put it up here and we'll before we take these out we'll put snap ring ready yep good now it works i like the we um, had to take apart the motor one more time. It worked in it and it stopped working. It seems to be that it doesn't have an external ground on the outside. So something wasn't connected inside. So we just took the, neg the negative side of the um, where the brushes were, drilled the hole, put a bolt through it to the outside case and hooked the negative wire to that. Go all the way up with them. Keep going up. If that's it, all right. Do the rear. It's been a while. Should pull the T 
tandem up first. There's tandem. And we just put it through the ground. I saw that. I saw it all of a sudden. But they work. Anyway, I'll touch something good. Yeah, because the front dude, they're all they're all gonna they're all coming up. It's just the rear ain't because it's buried in the sugar sand. But I guess we're finished that, right? That's we're done with that. Everything works. So one more thing off the list of many. There we go, when your hydraulic system fails, none of your slide outs will work. Basically, the RV is basically confined to minimum space. So now that we have the leveling jacks working, we can now put our slide outs out. So, and then we put some wood underneath there. We did crack a couple, but they're old pieces of wood. But it basically picks the tires up off the ground to an extent. So makes it easy to work on if you have to. Generator piping. That's actually an add-on there. Uh, the original pipe went straight back. That I wanted it to exit. And then this slide out. Little rubbers and stuff that of course always have to be fixed. But the end result is it opens the whole RV up. Because you can see the line where it sits. It really is narrow in here, but when you open the slide outs up it basically clears everything. I'm going to hit that master. Same thing in the back bedroom. You know, there's where this bed goes all the way up in here. It's hard to get around here, but when it's all opened up, you've got plenty of room in here. And then you've got your bedroom. You've got your bathroom in here. Nice shower. Nice hot water. It's got dual hot water heaters. There's your control. There's one in the front. There's also one in the rear here. 